I am Sadrash Gajankar. Today I am teaching you OR Operation Research in that one PERT. The PERT is nothing but Program Evaluation and Review Technique. Next, the optimum time. In the PERT, we required optimal, optimistic time, pessimistic time, and most likely time. The optimistic time refers to the shortest possible time, pessimistic time, longest possible time. And most likely time is nothing but normal time. They are denoted by T0, TP and TM. In order to find out the expected time, this is the formula we have to use is T0 plus 4 TM plus TP divided by 6. Next we have to go for finding the variance of activity sigma square root TP minus T0 divided by 6 whole square. After completion this one you have to go for normal deviate Z you have to go where Ts minus T is divided by sigma. What is Ts? Normal schedule time of a completing the project. Then you have to go for the normal distribution table. From the normal distribution table, we have to find probability. In depth, I don't want to go in depth here. This is the overall picture of the PERT. I am going to solve the first problem based on the, this is the first problem I am going to solve here. Now, the problem I will solve based upon the node method. I am solving the problem based upon the node rather than arrow. An organization has a longest number of activity but it is interested in controlling the part of this activity to 7 number. The following data is available for these activities. These are the activities are given, predecessor is given, time in terms of days that they are given. T0, optimistic time, most likely time and pessimistic time they have given it. We have to draw the PERT network activity. We have to find out the critical path and duration. And we have to go for finding the probability by using the normal distribution table. That means they are given the TS value. The original schedule time they have given, we have to find out the probability. This is the question I am going to solve by using the node method. Okay, now first you have to construct the table or you can draw the network diagram, no problem. But network problem and network diagram required as expected time. Therefore, better first go for the table. Now write this table as it is. I will write this optimistic time pessimistic time and the days 4 6 8 4 6 8 4 6 8 B is nothing but 6 10 14 C is 8 15 22 D will be 9 9 9 E 10 14 10 14 18 F 5 5 5 8 10 12 Now the formula in order to find the expected time T0 plus 4 TM plus TP divided by 6 this is the formula we have to substitute here. Now see here the calculator. What is T0? 4. 4 plus 4 into TM 6 plus TP is 8 divided by 6. Answer is 6. Answer is 6. In this way, you have to calculate the, the values of expected time by using T0, TM and TP. Simultaneously, in place of T0, you have to substitute 6, 4 into 10 plus 14. The answer obtained will be 10, 15, 9, 14, 5 and 10. You have to substitute in this formula, these values. The rows values you have to substitute in order to get the column. Now 
you know how to find out tp value sigma variance value sigma square is equal to tp minus t naught divided by 6 whole square how to find out what is tp tp is nothing but 8 8 minus t naught is 4 divided by 6 close the bracket whole square the answer is 0 0.44 0 0.44 0.44 okay i'm only finding this one in the later case we are going for the square just you have to find out this value now only this value you have to find out next similarly next will be 14 14 minus 6 1.75 I will consider as 1.78 please don't do the square here this required for the further calculation sigma square similarly the next value will be 5.44 0 1.78 0 0 0.44 now we are going to construct the network diagram now see the the network diagram First, I will construct the rough network diagram as per the question. As per this question, I will construct the diagram. Now, based on this question, I will construct the network diagram. First, preceding, there is no value here. Therefore, you can start by taking the node A here. A. By taking the node A here. Next, at the end of A, the B is there. At the end of A, B will be there. It is a node method. Node method. Node method. I am not using the activity method or arrow method. I am using the node method here. Next, at the end of A, C will be there. At the end of A, C is there. Next, at the end of B, D is there. At the end of B, D is there. At the end of C, E is there. At the end of C, E will be there. Now at the end of A, F is there. At the end of A, F is there. Now there is a junction here, D, E, F, in order to get G. From the D, from the F, from the E, you will get G. This is the rough diagram. Now based on this diagram, I will redraw this, this diagram. I will redraw it, redraw in order to get critical path, in order to get the critical path. Now how to draw this part? Now first, I will construct a box in this way. I'm going to use this procedure in order to find out the critical path now i will write a here at the center of this box next b again i will construct a box at the center i will write b d show the arrow d at the center it is D it is a node method next F F this is the F1 similarly for C for C C is written exactly at the center. Now E. Now E. Next the combination as per this one the combination.
this is G. I will show the arrow. Now, now you have to write the expected time here. Now see here, the expected time. What is the expected time for the A? 6, right here, exactly at the center. 6. Expected time for the B? 10, right 10 here. For C, it is 15, right. 15. 15. For D, it is 9. 9. For E, it is 14. 14. For F, it is 5. 5. 5. For G, it is 10. 10. 10. Now, next. First, I will consider 0 here. 0 plus 6. 6. 6 goes this side. And again, 6 goes this side. And 6 will be moved this direction. Now, see. 6 plus 10. 16. 6 plus 15. 21. 21. The 16 moves this side. 21 moves this side. 6 plus 5, 11. Now, 16 plus 9, 25. 25, 6 plus 5, 11. 21 plus 14, 35. Among these three, we have to select the larger one. This is the larger, 35. When we are moving from left to right, you have to select the larger value when the junction appears. Now, from the left to uh, from right to left, you have to select the smaller value if the junction appears. 35. 35 plus 10? 45. 45. Now here. Right here, 45. 45 minus 10? 35. First, complete the critical path here. See here. Now, 35 is here. 35, 35. Again, write 35 here. 35 minus 14? 21. Write 21 again here. 21 minus 15? 6. 6, 6, 0 here. Let us see here because there is a junction here. Now see here. 35. Write 35 here. 35 minus 5. 30. Now again 35 right here. 35. 35 minus 9. 26. Move 26 here. 26 minus 10. 20. Now. You have to select the smaller. If you are moving from right to left, you have to select the smaller. See the 20 is larger, 30 is larger. What about 6? 6 is smaller. 6. 6 minus 6? 0. Now what is the critical path? Now this is the critical path. 6 and 6. 21 and 21. 35 and 35. 45 and 45. That means the critical path critical path A dash C minus E minus G. This is the critical path. Now we are finding the expected time. Expected time. Expected time. Expected time is nothing but TE based on the critical value. Now TE, what is A value? A is 6. What is C? C is 15. What is E? 14 what is G 10 if you add it it will be 45 days it will be 45 days 45 days now further further you have to find out variance variance you have to find out variance also depends upon the critical path critical path it depends upon the critical path now see how to find out the Variance sigma is critical path. What is A value in the in the various 0 0.44? 0 0.44 right here. 0 0.44 plus C value. What is C value? C value is 5.44. 5.44 plus what is E value? 1. 1.78. What is G value? G value is 0 0.44. 0.44 if you add it it will be 81 years or 8.1 days 
go for root sigma root 8.1 it will be 2.84 days 2.84 days now we have to find out the z value that is normal normal deviate we have to find out normal deviate we have to find out in order to get this normal deviate ts is required now what is ts ts is given in the question ts is given in the question that is 70 47 days the original timing they have given it ts value now right here what is formula for normal distribution normal sorry normal distribution it is not in a distribution it is normal deviate normal deviate z is equal to ts minus te divided by sigma ts is given from the data which is 47 47 days now substitute here 47 47 minus te value 45 divided by sigma 2.84 the answer is 0 0.702 0 0.702 now we have to refer normal distribution table it is a positive case for the positive this normal distribution cumulative probability table you have to refer it now what is the value 0 0.702 now see here 0 0.702 the decimal is in this way you can conclude it 0 0.70 don't go for 2 here now you can split it 0 0.7 next 0 0.00 you can consider this way now see here 0 0.7 0, 0 0.00 what is the value here 0 0.7580 right here 0 0.7580 7580 7580 now in terms of percentage it will be 75.80 percentage in this way you have to solve the problem when the part in terms of activity ABCD is given I am Santosh Gaidankar Thank you very much.